Welcome to Rise Zap Namob here. So in this video, we're going to be talking about dividing fractions by Met Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So example number one, division. So what do we do when it's 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 3? So the first thing we do is we change the division sign to multiplication. Okay, but when you change the division sign to multiplication, something has to happen to the second part of the sum. The first part of the sum stays the same. But the second part of the sum, whatever was on top goes to the bottom and whatever was at the bottom goes to the top. Meaning the numerator becomes a denominator and the denominator becomes a numerator. But this only happens when you change the sign from division to multiplication. Okay? So when you get the multiplication sign, you use the multiplication rules. So, you say 2 times 3 equals to 6. 3 times 4 equals to 12. So, from this point, you can just type this into your calculator to get the final answer. Or, you can use the highest common factor of 6 and 12 to get your final answer. Which in this case is 6. 6 is the highest common factor of 6 and 12. So, what is 6 divided by 6? It gives you 1. What is 12 divided by 6? It gives you 2. So this is your final answer. Let's look at another example. Now this example involves uh, mixed numbers. Okay? So you can't start dividing. Neither can you start changing the division sign to multiplication because they are mixed numbers. So what do you need to do? You need to change all these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, how do you get the improper fractions by multiplying let's start with the first part you say 4 times 2 plus 1 equals to 9 so that's why you have a 9 as a numerator why is it over 2 because the first part in the mixed number was also over 2 the denominator does not change the same with the second part you say 6 times 4 plus 1 equals to 25 over 4 because there was already 4 as a denominator good now from this point you can change the division sign to multiplication. So you say 9 over 2 multiplied by 4 over 20. Why is it 4 over 20? Because you changed the division sign to multiplication. So the 25 over 4 needs to change. Which means whatever was on top goes to the bottom. Whatever was at the bottom goes to the top. Why? Because you changed the division sign to multiplication. Good. So from this point. It's all multiplication, so you say 9 times 4 equals to 36. 2 times 25 equals to 50. Hmm? So from this point, you can also just type this into your calculator to say 36 divided by 50, and then you get your final answer. Or you can use the highest common factor of 36 and 50, which is 2. So you say 36 divided by 2 gives you 18. 50 divided by 2 gives you 25. So this is your final answer. Okay? So let's get into extra examples here. Example number two. So what do you do in a case of when you have one mixed number and just one number? Not a fraction, not a mixed uh, number, but just one number. So what you do is, number one, change this uh mixed number into an improper fraction by saying 3 times 5 plus 1 equals to 16 over 5. Why is it over 5 again? Because it was already over 5 and the denominator does not change. Good. Now the second part, make this a fraction. Now when you get a number which is a whole number, it is always over 1. No matter what number it is, even if it's 2, 3, 4, 500, 600, whatever number it is, you always put it over 1 to make it a fraction. Okay? So, from this point, you change the... Because now you have fractions on both sides. You change the division sign to multiplication sign. Hmm? Now, what happens when you change the division sign to multiplication sign? You change whatever was on top comes to the bottom. Whatever was at the bottom comes to the top. You change the numerator and the denominator. Okay, good. 
So from this point, you say 16 times 1. Because now you have a multiplication sign. 16 times 1 equals to 16. 5 times 8 equals to 40. Okay? So you can type this into your calculator and get your final answer. Or you could simply use the highest common factor, which in this case is 8. The highest common factor of 16 and 40 is 8. So 16 divided by 8 will give you 2. 40 divided by 8 will give you 5. Okay, this is your final answer. Let's look at another example. So some people get confused when the whole number is on the left hand side. Hmm? So this is actually simple as well. So what do we do? This whole number, let's make it a fraction first of all. How do we make it a fraction? By putting it over 1. That's why we have 8 over 1. Okay, divided by 5 over 6. So what do you think we should do from this point? Yes, we should change this division sign to multiplication sign. Okay? So it's 8 over 1 multiplied by 6 over 5. Why is it 6 over 5? Because you changed the sign from division to multiplication. So you also ch have to change whatever the numerator was, it becomes the denominator. And whatever the denominator was becomes the numerator. Hmm? Why did you change it? Because you changed the division sign to multiplication. Good. So from here, you say 8 times 6 gives you what? It gives you 48. 1 times 5 gives you 5. Okay? So from this point, when a numerator is bigger than the denominator, you have to use another method rather than using the highest common factor. So you ask yourself a question to say, how many times does 5 go into 48? It goes in 9 times. Now when it goes into 48 9 times, how, how much or how many numbers are left? 3 numbers are left. Okay, now if 3 numbers are left, you make it the numerator. And then you make the denominator 5. Why is it 5? Because the denominator was already 5 and the denominator never changes. Okay? So this is your final answer. So if you don't know that method, just type 48 divided by 5 into your calculator and you'll still get the same answer. You might get a decimal but on your calculator, but to get an answer like this one, you press the ABC button on your calculator. Okay? So here I've given you extra examples for you to practice. Check them out and see if you can get the right answers. Feel free to ask any questions. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, Turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And do remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind.